All right, back at one of my favorite spots. I've been camping this uh, this exact location for, let's see, I think I've, I've hit it up once, once every winter for the last four winters. And I love it because there's a stream right here. And so I've got a fresh water source and it's really pretty. You got great views of the mountains over here. And then you can see all the storms that come in through the valley and across from over that way. And so, hey, what's up, girl? Come over here. Come here, Sierra. Come here, bucket. You excited? And so it uh, makes for some really good camping. Uh, the only thing is, is I forgot to, <laughs> forgot to get groceries. So I do have eggs and some other stuff. I think I've got some stuff to make uh, pancakes. But overall, we're definitely going to have to make a run to town here shortly. And um, I do have some fire logs with me that are good. But we'll need to pick up some more firewood. We're going to try to score some hardwoods from one of the wood brokers I know. Uh, kind of close to here. So we're going to go ahead and get set up. The first thing I always do when I'm out here is I grab my snow shovel and I clear the ground. And so we're going to set up right here and uh, be right next to the water here so I can have an easy source of water to score. And put in my jerry container, or my jerry can, and then uh, we'll get going. So I want to get the ground kind of softened up. Right now it's frozen and it makes it hard to put the stakes in the ground. So if you clear the ground and let pass the solar, uh, you know, go through it after you remove the snow, then you'll be all set. So I'm gonna get cranking here and uh, I'm out of breath. This is high elevations. But anyway, like I was saying, you wanna clear the ground. What happens is the passive solar will soften it up a little bit. You get your stakes in the ground a bit easier. So got a little bit of work to do that we'll chill for a bit, kind of get our gear organized. And then once uh, the sun's on the ground for about an hour, we'll pitch the tent. A lot of people have asked me why I went with this tent. You know, it's, a, it's definitely an investment at 2300 bucks, <clears throat> But the easy setup is making my life so much easier. And um, also, too, it's lighter weight and it's canvas, so it's going to breathe a little bit better. And I won't have the condensation issues, nor will I have the noise and high wind. And it's supposed to be high winds here this week, and so I set up in this area because there's a little bit of protection from the trees, but not much. So I can really put it to the test and see how much noise it creates when the winds are really cranking because it gets going in the winter time. So we're gonna go ahead and pitch this, get everything set up inside, and I may go make a wood run today, or um, what you got there, girl, what you doing? Oh, are you happy with winter camping? <laughs> Sierra loves it when we get this set up. I know, girl. Oh, we're gonna have so much fun. So anyway, uh, we're gonna get cranking with this, and then um, uh, I'll show you some new gear that I got. I got all new gear for uh, the interior here, and also a new battery that I'm working with, a new solar power station. So we're gonna get going with this. This ground is frozen solid. Should have let it pass the solar do its thing. What'll happen though is with the sun going around, we'll still get to thaw out a little bit. So once the ground softens up a little bit more, I'll pound these stakes in a bit, tad bit. Another thing you can do is you can use big old long, like um, they're, I think they're called like hex screws. You can get them like this big and you can use a drill to drill in and drill out and that's real fast. So when we roll into town, I'll probably get those. I know it's my girl. I know pumpkin. You just happy girl? <laughs> Sierra loves winter camping. What do you think, girl? Huh? Are you happy? 
I'm happy, girl. All right. What do you think? Oh my goodness, let's go. What you got? I know. All right. Whew. So like I was saying, now the ground is frozen solid. And that does pose a problem when you're trying to get the stakes out as well. So I'll probably replace these sometime this week with the hex screws because I did bring a drill with me. And that makes it real easy. You can you don't have to wait for like the sun to come up in the morning. If you want to move camp, you can just easily go out, grab your drill, start jamming, and uh, get those things out of the ground and nothing flat. The only drawback to them is if you use them for the guy lines, like the tension rods that come out here, or the, or the, the tension ropes that come out here, when the ground starts to soften up, if it does have a day where it's above freezing, then those screws, since they're just round and they're just basically a foot long, you know, big screws, they will pull out of the out of the soil. So you kind of want to use them uh, only when you know it's going to be at freezing, you know, all throughout the day and of course throughout the night. <laughs> There we go. Looks like the top part's frozen, but once you get through like three or four inches of the topsoil, it starts to loosen up and it's, <coughs> it's uh, thawed out underneath. So. All right, here comes the easy part. What you do is you take these poles after you stake off the four areas, the four main ones. And put them up underneath here, like so. You can take the main pole and put it in the center. And then we stake off the other guy lines and we're done. Come on, sweetie. We're gonna set up our pot way back on the back here and put the stove right here. We'll be good to go. Come on, Steve. What do you think of our new tent, huh? Mm.
Alright, so we're kind of early start to the morning here. We got up around 4.30. Uh, it's currently 5 degrees outside. There's a little bit of a breeze, but it's kind of chilled out. It was um, about 15 mile an hour winds when we went to bed last night around 10 p.m. But got some good sleep, which was good. I haven't really slept much the past couple of days because I've been traveling. And uh, Sierra's still crashed out on the cot. I'm currently making some biscuits over the stove. I just got done with some coffee. And then the plan for the day is to go get firewood from this area that I, or this, this lady, this couple that I know that sells firewood. Um, they're about 30 minutes from here. And I did scavenge for some firewood last night just kind of around my camp here. But it's not enough wood for me to keep going. And with the cold temperatures that are on the way, and also with the snowstorm on Tuesday, we need to make sure that the um, wood is up to par. So we're going to try to go get some cedar wood, some pinion pine, and a little bit of aspen. And pretty much fill up the back of my truck, just the bed of my truck. And uh, I, I put three rows deep in there and then stack it all the way to the top of the topper. And the cuts are usually about like that wide. And that way I can put them in my stove and then they burn. You know, I can get like almost five hour burns out of cedar wood. So that's the plan for today. But this morning we're just going to chill for a little while, wait for the sun to come up, have some biscuits over the stove, and uh, then hang out with Sierra. Thank you. 